is why. Any reason? To communicate with other persons in meeting, only in meeting. Yes, Sayyid, you only speak in meeting. Okay, to get developed in, uh, yes, etc, etc. Okay, yes, okay. Does only, uh, suppose, suppose my question is, uh, if you have a campus interview, why, do, yes, to be more socially active and easy, easier to approach, yes, Shiv, that's good. Suppose my question is, my question is daily conversations in company. Yes, good. So my question is, suppose there is first interview in your college and uh, a company uh, want, uh, they are looking only for three candidates. So do they come to your principal ma'am, your HOD or your class teacher and they directly tell them, uh, ma'am, please give me the list of uh, three topper students and we will recruit them. Does it happen that way? Does it happen that way? The company directly recruiting the top three students? No. Why? See, uh, they are very good in technical knowledge. They have practical knowledge. Okay. Then why? Why do they do so? Why will they waste their whole day for conducting an interview? Any reason? Any reason? Any reason? Because if they don't know how to explain a thing, yes, good. They should know how to express themselves. Yes, good, say yes. What else? What else? They will see, yes. Yes, Sayyad, yes, Vinayat, good. So they will see the communication skills. Okay, they should have a good communication skill. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. So now most of you know why it is important to have soft skill along with hard skills. Yes. Okay, Raman is saying because they may be lacking in social interaction or any other aspect. Yes. Sonal is saying they should have good communication. Shiv, uh, Shiv is saying uh, it should stand up, apart from the paper scores. So what does that word mean? Yes, Shiv. It means what makes them unique. Yes. Pranav is saying good ability to handle the problems. Yes. So now you know everything about it. Yes, good. So that's why soft skills are important. Okay. Let me give, uh, give me a moment. I will share a screen with you. Okay. Yes. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, Shiv. Yes. Okay. It's a blank. No, uh, I think. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, today we will be talking about soft skill. And believe me, soft skill plays an important role in your success. Success in your personal life as well as success in your professional life. Okay. Yes. So soft skill plays, really it plays an important role. Okay. Yes. Now, before going for a soft skill. Here is uh, a slide for you. Okay. We will move to the next slide. Yeah. 
case. Can you see the image? What does that image mean? It's a simple image. You can unmute and speak. What does that image mean? Yes. What does that image means? Come on. What do you think it is? What do you think that image is saying to you? Looking for a bright future. Yes, Sujal. Good. What else? Pawns are as equal as king. When? Prana, when? When? They are, see, now, when, when we start playing chess, they are not equal. But it can become equal. When? So my question is when, Prano? If you are playing chess, you know that pawn can be a stronger piece in a chess board. But when? Looking ourselves as the best in future, yes. When they start working hard, yes, Sujal. Good. Okay, good. Yes. What else? What else? Come on, others. Akhil, Vinit, what do you think? Yes, you can unmute and speak. Because it's uh, it gives us a good interactive part session, right? When we speak. Yes. Come on. Not feeling inferior and always believe in ourselves. Yes, Shiv, good. Yes, that's the answer. The best version of ourselves. Okay. In the world when they get higher ability. Yes, Pranav, good. Come on, others. What that image means. Come on. So, uh, everyone agrees to me that a pawn can become a king. Yes, everyone. Everyone, yes. So, uh, so you believe that everyone has that ability? Yes, they can. But they need to develop themselves. Yes. So, what if one if one is looking if so there is a need. Give me a moment. Yes. So that means there is a need to develop. If you want to achieve a success, you need to develop. If you want to achieve something in your life, you need to develop yourself. Yes. And you can. There is a, there is a saying that, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so everyone can achieve that. A pawn can become a king. Okay, but how? 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 Now you are telling me, uh, yes. Okay, yes, we can and we will believe that. Yes, sir, yeah, good. So you know that you can do it, but how? How? By getting developed, yes. By working hard, good. Development in ourselves, yes. Okay. Good. So, so who is the important person in your life? Who is the important person in your life? Self. Yes. So, who is responsible for your success? Obviously, self. Obviously, self, the most important person of your life is self. And who is the most uh, responsible person for it? It's self. Basically, uh, uh, we need to realize it, that if we want to be successful, we need to work on ourselves. Yes, 
Good? Yes. If we improve ourselves, then it is good for us. Okay, good. Yes. So I hope everyone, everyone is agreeing with me that the important person for success is self. We need to work on self. Yes. Good. Now let me show you uh, another slide. But before that, before that, let me ask you a question. Who is your role model? And why? Sorry, who is your role model and why? Come on. Yes, Sujal, but why? You can unmute and speak. This is big answer. You can unmute and speak. Yes, Sujal, why? Yes. Take your time. Take your time. Sujal, take your time. If you have a book, please write it down. Why your dad is your role model? Yes, we are also saying the same thing. Yes. Sayed is saying, Virat, uh, Sayed, can you unmute and speak? See, I need to, uh, I need to uh, listen to you. Yes, you can see me. At least I can hear you. Yes, Sayed. Others, please keep your phone on mute. Let Sayed speak. Yes, Sayed. Why only Virat Kohli? <laughs> Due to his dedication and his hard work, sir. Yes. And he has lots of improvement of skills. He can improve anytime. And he knows uh, when he loses, how to come up and improve himself. Yes, good. So, uh, any, any, quality, any of these qualities you have in yourself? Any of these qualities you have in yourself? That means... See, role models. Role model means a person who inspired you. Okay, so uh, inspiration means I learned. So what you learned from him, Sayyid? Sir, in uh, two thousand eighteen, he, he didn't have the good era, and he lost. So I didn't have good marks in SSLC, and I scored good in PUC. You learned from me, yes, good Sayyid. Yes, well done, well done. Thank you, Sayyid. Thank you, Sayyid. Yes, okay. So, Sadia, Sadia is saying, Ronaldo, because of hard work, he never gives up till last and make possible out of impossible. Yes. But my question is, see, uh, whenever someone is asking, asking you your role model, you may like many people. But, Role model means how that person inspired you, what you learned from that person, what qualities you instilled in yourself. And I need that answer. Yes, Sujal. Sujal, unmute and speak. Yes, Sujal. You can unmute and speak. Come on. Yes. Yes, Sujal. Anyone else? Come on. You told me that a soft skill means... Yes, soft skill means communication skill. So, uh, how, how will I uh, come to know if you don't speak? Yes, communication uh, communication skill plays an important role in our success. So I need to hear you. Come on. Sujal? If you are comfortable with Hindi, it's okay with me. Come on. Yes? Come on. Who 
who is your role model and why the the another version of that question is who inspired you in your life so sayed gave a good answer yes others come on i know it's a kind of a, a difficult question because you you like a person that you like that person for his or her good qualities but when it comes to why and when you need to answer that i have developed that quality in myself then it it's a difficult part yes sujit and others please write down who is your role model and why i need that in your book come on who is going to answer yes see we have only two two hours right so if you answer me fast i have lot of slides to show we will not stop only on sort analysis we can go further come on yes who is your role model and why or who inspired you in your life who inspired you in your life come on come on yes others vinit akil yes let me check who all are there in uh, yes we have vinit we have akil pranav raman rishikesh shiv sonal sujal sumit sundaresh suyash yes come on yes only one two three come on who inspired you in your life yes vinit akil students are still there Yes, so my father has inspired me because I have seen him struggling in his bad days, and he inspires me by telling, uh, "Struggling makes man better, not worse." By that way, he inspires me a lot. Good, Vinod. So Vinod's inspiration is his dad. Yes, Vinod. Good. Yes. Come on, others. so we are still uh, students they are joining the session good so it's a good sign come on so we got two answer one more please unmute and speak one more and see this is a good platform you can tell about your role models you can uh, tell them how they inspired you come on it can be your dad it can be your mother your uh, friends your uh, sister your brother any of your relative come on this is a platform for come on and if you can speak in front of so many people believe me you can speak in front of any any interviewer come on it's okay it's okay if there there are some grammatical mistakes okay we are not taking a grammar lecture here come on who will speak pranav yes pranav i need someone to speak i am giving you a uh, access and uh, see yes so you have all the options here opportunities hai let me let me show you something let me show you something okay let me show you something 
yes opportunities are like this okay and if you don't open the door it will go to someone else so opportunities to you for you to speak unmute and speak come on yes prano unmute and speak yes see these are not written questions if someone wants to know they will ask you a, a verbal or oral question so they will not ask you to write down yes come on others who is your role model and why and believe me we will need this information for our future uh, next topic come on come on who is your role model and why others anyone anyone will do come on we got two answers i need only one more answer come on and also note down these questions what i am uh, what i am asking you they will be asked uh, they will ask the interviewer will ask you this question same kind same questions in any interview okay so just note them down who is your role model and why come on give a try give a try it's okay come on yes who is your role model and like uh, before starting the session i heard uh, I, i heard your voices you are talking so loudly ma'am was shouting at you please keep quiet please keep quiet but believe me that was not the platform where you were talking this is the platform where one should talk if you want to be successful bheed mein to bahut log baat karte hai akele mein baat karna aana chahiye come on and sayed and vinit did that yes come on see i will wait it's not uh, uh, any hard thing for me to wait i have good patience come on but i will wait i need at least one more answer yes vinay sayyad motivate your friends at least one should speak who is your role model and why yes the reason behind it is most of you don't know your role models okay and most of you they know their role models but they don't know how to express that and you yourself told me the uh, interview uh, whenever any interview comes to you for a campus interview instead of taking your mark sheet they ask you questions so this is one of the question of any interview so who is your role model and why who inspired you in your life come on yes only one more candidate we are waiting for only one more candidate to answer this yes good sayed aapko abhi believe ho raha hai why it is happening why it's difficult to crack an interview because we cannot express ourselves though we have good marks you all of you are good students you are securing good marks yes
Only one. Yes. Yes, Arya. Speak up. Sir, sir, my role model is my grandfather because he always tell to stick to the hands of the clock because that hand will take you to the height. Yes, and what you learn from him? What you learn from him? Any quality? Any specific quality you uh, instilled in your yourself? Yes. Yes, Arya. Yes, but it's good. At least you know who is your role model and what. Yes, good. So, Sadia, good. If you uh, try to find out the answer, the question which I ask you, then it's very, it will help you to uh, develop yourself. Okay, yes. So, now you know who is your role model. So, what qualities your role model have? Sir, humanity is very generous. Yes, good. So, uh, humanity, yes, he is very generous. Good. So, come on now, write down on a chat in a chat box what all good qualities any human can have. Come on. So, uh, we will uh, first we will note down what uh, Sadia said it is humanity. Okay, what else? Come on. In a chat box, you can write. Word dream. Yes. Uh, in a chat box now, Sadia. Good. So uh, one quality we learned, yes, being kind to every, every, everything, respect for others. Yes. So my question is, what are the good qualities in any human beings? Self-esteem. Yes. Come on. Good. I'm asking about qualities. That means it's a, it has to be adjective. Humanity is a noun form, but I am asking you adjective, courage, courageous. So, Raman, it will be courageous, not courage. Courage is noun form. Yes. So, I am asking you about the qualities of human means, successful human means. Come on. Yes. Ambitious, yes, that's the quality. Come on. Courageous, yes, good. Then, uh, Shiv, it's not, yes, Sujal, it's right. It has to be punctual. Okay, good. So, please note down all these qualities. Never give up attitude. Okay. Yes, okay. Good. What else? What good qualities any human being can have? Think, think, think. Prof uh, you can think about personal as well as professional qualities. Come on. Patience, dedication. Yes. Good. So you need to be dedicated. Yes. Knowledge. Good. You should have a knowledge. Yes. So it means you need to be a knowledgeable person. Good. Then. Body language. Uh, that is skill. Uh, Rishikesh. It is a skill. Body language is a skill. I am talking about qualities now. We will talk about skills in later part. I am talking about qualities. Inbuilt qualities. Knowing how to overcome from a problem. Yes, Vinit. So what is that quality called? Respectful. It is called respectful. Yes. Perseverance, confident. Okay. So, uh, ideally, let me tell you, ideally, there are 15 qualities. How many qualities? There are 15, 50 qualities. Okay. Yes. So, almost there are 50 qualities of a uh, good human being. Uh, uh, we can tell those qualities, like uh, some of the quali important qualities I am just telling you first one is knowledge yes there are many but we will speak about this qualities knowledge 
then hard work and attitude okay yes so who knows abcd who knows abcd a to z who knows yes who knows a b c d it's a simple question who knows a b c d a to z everyone yes so uh, everyone knows yes yes but who will who will speak for a, yes come on i know it's a very childish question but but believe me in an interview they will ask you any question and if you say uh, are kitna childish question hai then it will not help you they can ask you any question so my as a interviewer suppose i am your interviewer i am asking you who knows abcd and all of you knows abcd but no no one is raising in, uh, your hand so it it shows that you don't have a confidence to say that i know abcd okay come on who will speak abcd or who will tell abcd to, for me come on yes come on come on a b c d for me yes come on a b c d kitna simple sawal hai kya puch liya sir ne ha a yes yes students come on who will do that work for me you have to write it like this write in your book okay write like this i have an activity for you it's very uh, you will enjoy that activity come on write uh, like uh, uh, like uh, write in your book like this number each each alphabet now see i asked you a question simple question who knows a b c d कितना सिंपल क्वेश्चन था ना कि एबीसीडी किसको आती है यस इट वाज अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज एंड इट हु नोज एबीसीडी yes who will try come on yes students come on a hey, so i need to teach you abcd now because no one knows abcd Ah uh, yes, Arya. 
Sir, I have to tell letter A to Z. Yes. Sir, I have to tell the letter A to Z. Yeah, A to Z. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Yes, good. Good. Nadia, you are. Ah, so Sadia, you are the only candidate who who took the initiative to tell A B C D. Okay, now believe me, believe me. This is big. This is very very important thing to do. Take a initiative. I know it was a simple question. Who knows A B C D? But but only you had that confidence to tell the A B C D. Come on. Okay, so keep it up. Yes, Arya. Okay. Yes. So now, uh, uh, everyone, please write down A B C D. Everyone, please write down A B C D. I am telling uh, through this activity. I am telling you how you can become a king from a pawn. Like how you can become a good professional from a student. So through this activity, we will see that how one can become a professional from a student. Come on. So please write down like this what I have written in a chat box. Yes. So now write down A one B two C three like this till Z. So Z Z means almost twenty six. Okay. Yes. Write down. It done. Yes. And you will enjoy this activity. Okay. So now we took three words. We took three uh, qualities from the, those uh, uh, whatever qualities you told me. First one is knowledge. Second one is hard work and third one is attitude. Okay, so so let's see now the first quality. Any person who wants to be successful need to have knowledge. That person has to be a knowledgeable person if he or she wants to be successful. So I wrote a word for you. What you have to do? You have to tell me the total of this word knowledge. What is the total of this word knowledge? Yes, Pranav. You raised your hand. You need to tell me the total of this word knowledge. Nine. How come nine, Pranav? Because you wrote A. One B two C three. So what is K denotes? No, Sayyad, not that way. If you are written your A, A A B C D, and if you are denoted each letter a number, then you will come to know what is the total of yes. So Sadia got ninety six. Yes, Aista. She got ninety six. Yes. Who else? So we got four uh, numbers. So two of them are ninety six. Others? Others? Ninety six. Yes. Okay. Good. Now she has got ninety six. Yes. So Rishikesh got ninety six now. Yes. Okay, so now you know the total of knowledge. Yes, so it is ninety-six. Okay, now the second word is hard work. Come on, what is the total of this word? Hard work. What is the total? See, I am telling you the uh, way to become a professional. From a good student, come on. 
if you want to be successful you need to become a good professional come on so knowledge is one of the uh, quality one uh, any good professional should have so sadia it's 98 yes sadia is getting so fast good yes pranav sayed okay so saita 98 so fast you are getting this total yes vinay good okay yes good so now the third quality that can make you a good professional is attitude what is the total of this word attitude A double T I T U D. So, what is the total of this word? 140. Okay, so we need got 140. Come on, others. Sadia, spelling, I hope you. Okay, so Saista got 100. Yes. So, both of you got 150. Yes, Sadia, now it's 100. Okay. Others, come on. Yes, Vinit, Rishikesh. Now, Sonal, yes, good. So, you know that when you total your knowledge, it was 96. For hard work, it was 98. And for attitude, we are talking only about positive attitude, okay? So, it is 100. So, can anyone tell me, can anyone tell me what this activity tells you? Anyone, unmute and speak. What this figure means. Whatever total you got, what does it mean? Why did why we did this activity? Yes. Because you need to have 90 percent, 96% of knowledge and 98% of hard work and 100% of attitude. Okay, yes, so Sadia is saying uh, according to this activity means uh, uh, one should have 96% of knowledge, 98% of uh, hard work and 100% uh, of uh, attitude. Okay, yes. Any other, any other point of view? Any other point of view? See, we are, uh, we are good citizen of India. We have the power. I think all of you uh, have a right to vote. You, you select or you elect the PM of India, you elect the chief minister of, uh, yes, so of any state, okay, so mostly from Karnataka, yes. Come on. So now if you have a, any point of view for this activity, please let me know. What is the another point of view? So Sadia is saying, the per she sees uh, she is saying that the, these are the percentage for success. Any other view? Come on. Yes. How you see at this activity? I hope everyone knows what does attitude means. Attitude means uh, per your perspective. Attitude means the way you look at the things. So that means attitude. Come on. So, so what does this activity tells you? Come on. Simple. Very simple. Yes. Any point of view? Any different point of view? Come on. And you will also find out the reason why interviewers take interview rather than looking at your mark sheets. If you know this point of view. Hello. Yes, we need. Sir, to know how to overcome from a problem by using different methods. 
so uh, according to the vinit it shows that how to overcome a problem okay yes vinit so this is also a different powerpoint of you okay yes what else see we are uh, we all are thinkers we think a lot we speak, express ourselves now this is the platform to express i just told you uh, to uh, tell abcd so sadia took the initiative then i told i told you to sum up the three words you did that most of you got the answer but but do you know why we did that that is important yes why are, why we did this activity and what was the purpose to take that activity on in an online session yes you can try, type in a chat box it's okay for me or you can unmute and speak but i need to find uh, i need your efforts to find out the answer for this question yes sir yes 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 okay okay i think uh, there is some disturbance okay so as sadia said uh, the she has different point of view but but let me uh, type that in a uh, chat box and i will also let you know okay for success for success along with knowledge believe me your knowledge contributes 96% in your success okay and hard work your hard work contributes 98% in your success one must have a positive attitude which contributes almost 100% in your success can you believe how much attitude matters in your success yes yes and positive attitude means how you look at the things see uh let me tell you one more thing when in the morning when i started uh, with the session uh, everyone was making noise so what does that show it doesn't tell about your knowledge it doesn't tell about your how hard working person you are but it told me about how you look at such kind of sessions so it showed me your attitude okay when i started the session sayed vinay then sujal they started taking initiative and they started answering so it does I, it was not the case that no one knew the answer but but only three of them showed a positive attitude if i know the answer then why uh, why can't i answer this question to sir yes then then afterwards we had Pr pranav then uh, sadia then saishta they started uh, answering the question okay so believe me all of you had all of you have a knowledge yes but when company comes to uh, your campus for interview or whenever you go to company for an interview they don't only check your knowledge or how hard working person you are but they focus more on your positive attitude how you look at the things they will ask you many questions about your life like the important question is tell me about yourself yes it is a important question of uh, any interview 
Tell me about yourself. Sorry, it's yourself, right? Yes. Because they know how much marks you got. They have your certificate. So when they ask you this question, they are checking your attitude. How you look at this question? How you look at yourself? Another question is to check your attitude is how your college prepared you for how okay how your college prepared you for your career this shows your attitude if you are a positive person you will speak up speak good things about your college not uh, i am not saying that you will lie about your college you will say good things that college conducted session for us then they took our practicals they uh, teach uh, they taught us theory another question is how do your family and friends describe you it shows uh, you as a person in your personal life and believe me all these questions will tell about your attitude how you look at the things even uh, there is a one important question any crisis you faced in your life life and how you managed it okay so this is the list of question it shows your attitude so believe me friends if you want to be successful you need to have a positive attitude and it is saying there is a very good saying that attitude is everything your attitude is everything you have seen many people many people who are not good in studies yes your attitude shows that you need not be a very serious person enjoy your path enjoy your struggle okay it shows your attitude like suppose the, the this question any crisis you faced in your life and how you managed it do you know this question is uh, the only question asked to ask for a ceo interview when they are selecting any ceo a candidate for a position of ceo they ask this question any crisis you faced in your life and how you managed it it shows how you look at things positively okay yes understood so students develop your attitude attitude means what focusing on please write down focusing on what you have and what you can do this is called positive attitude if you focus on what i have and what i can do believe me you can do anything in your life a person with positive attitude can do anything in his or her life so always develop this quality it is called positive attitude we are not going to speak about negative attitude in this session but i'm just telling you what does positive attitude means positive attitude means focusing on what you have and what you can do 
if you are focusing on what you have and what you can do that believe me that means you are a person with a positive attitude okay and the the people with uh, uh, whom we are following who inspired us in a in our life believe me all of them had a positive attitude that's why they were able to do impossible things in their life or there is an easy way there is an easy way what we do we give excuses simple thing agar humse kuch nahi hua na to we give excuses but but excuses don't get results okay excuses don't get results okay so from today onwards try to develop this quality okay yes now we are we had uh, talked about three important qualities and the in next topic we will be talking about more qualities in uh, any person and that person for us us in this session is you okay yes so we will talk about ourselves in this uh, topic and that the name of this topic or the title of this topic is yes what yes so this was our important topic of the day okay so we are going to talk about swot have anyone heard about swot Yes. Yes, Sumit. Sumit, you raised your hand. Yes, Sumit. Okay. Have you heard about this word SWOT? I know it's mentioned in a slide because. Uh, uh, yes so you heard about it what the swot means or who do, who do this swot analysis mostly okay yes abhi who do this swot analysis most of the companies they do this swot analysis companies do this for uh, for their better future but even a individual can do this so i want you to write in a, a, a paper draw four columns draw four columns in first column write strength in second column write weakness in third column write opportunities and fourth column write threats okay so draw four columns draw four columns okay and in first column write strength okay first column okay so first column that is strength okay yes second column write weakness we will talk elaborately about this okay yes In third column, write opportunities. Okay. 
and in fourth column write weakness oh sorry threats okay once done please um, raise your hand if you are done with drawing these four columns once done please raise your hand okay so shreya does shreya okay what others yes vinit okay good yes sapna one more thing yes shreya one more person yes others come on please draw four columns and believe me this this activity will help you to know yourself a, but in a better way and you will you will be in a better position to answer the important question any interview that is tell me about yourself that question ca carries a weightage of 90% in any interview okay that question tell me about yourself carries almost 90% weightage yes okay good so most of you done with this act uh, drawing a column okay now tell me what are strengths and also write write uh, write a question uh, sakshi please keep your phone on mute huh. yes now what are strengths yes what are strengths and it is also an important question uh, in any interview so let me let me ask you uh, a question that can be asked in any interview is what are your strengths so how will you answer this what does strength means yes what does strength means does anyone know strength what does strength means ability to do something yes good what else only with that thing sadia does it mean uh, does it justify your strength all the strengths yes sadia come on others strength kya hoti hai come on yes a special skills that you are good at yes okay so what i can do and skills itna hi there is one more thing that that can qualify your strengths come on and we discussed about it in the uh, just a few minutes back i use that word yes come on i asked you a question and you answered me uh, all of you answered me strengths are the task or action you can do well yes think logically uh you are telling me the strength i am talk i am asking you what the strength means okay let me tell you okay the quality is in you okay then abilities you have then skills you possess okay so all these three things make your strengths okay so please write down in a strength column what qualities you have what you can do better in a better way or what skills you have qualities means like suppose if i am telling about myself you told you asked me okay i'm going to tell me something about you not a uh, that question interview question just a uh, 
simple simple introduction so i will tell uh, good afternoon my name is amol balchandra dikshit i am from mumbai i am very passionate and confident person so these two qualities tell about amol okay so these qualities they are my strength okay if you ask about my skills then i have good communication skill i have good intrapersonal as well as interpersonal skills so that gives a gist of my skills okay if you ask me my abilities yes i can talk with any person i am very adaptable person i can adjust myself in any situation yes so these are my abilities okay so i am asking you what are your strengths come on do your swot analysis now think of you if you want to be a professional from a student or if you want to be a king of your life then you must know the strength you have that means a qualities in you abilities you have and skills you have come on who would like to answer this anyone at least you should know two qualities at least you should know two abilities and at least you should know two skills that the word the word the word this word is very important unique what what qualities what skills and what abilities make you unique because there is another question in any interview is why should we hire you should we hire you and in that for answering this question one must focus on strengths how you can be an asset to any company you have to tell that and to be an asset you need to have strengths come on who will answer me okay uh, only two qualities only two things only one thing sadia write down as much as you can write down as much as in, you can on a piece of paper come on what are your strengths as much as you can see i have a list of strength in my cv like i am i am good in communication skill i am good in documentation i am good in uh, computer uh, i do have computer skills i am good in coordination i have good interpersonal skill intrapersonal skills i am very passionate and confident person i am very sincere i do my work on time on a timely manner so so many things you can write about yourself khud ke bare mein socho come on write on a or on a paper what are your strengths yes so what are your strengths come on think think what makes you a unique person yes come on yes it is also good uh, quality rishikesh that uh, being creative helps you in uh, decision making terms yes yes good it is also good quality come on others write down uh, in a paper and let that page with be hamesha wo page apne sath rakhna a swot analysis of self always keep that paper with you okay come on anyone after writing anyone would like to tell about the strengths all the strengths i'm not asking you about see when someone ask you 
uh, what are your strength you have to tell only two two qualities or two skills and or mix of anything but only you need to tell about two things in you okay but for this topic sort analysis you can write as much as strengths you have come on who will unmute and speak let's see who have that gut guts in the cell come on let's see who will take the initiative sir i am i have this strength come on come on write down what are your strengths that can make you successful in your life what are your strengths that can make you successful in your career what are your strengths that can make you a a good person what are your strengths that can make you a good professional come on who will answer this yes yes who will answer this come on after the session when you go uh, after the session and when you go uh, to your home please please see yourself in a mirror okay and talk to yourself what strengths i have in me it is not only good looking it is not only beautiful it is not only looking smart or handsome it is much more than that think deeper what strengths i have why i am i am here in this world come on who will answer this yes anyone who would like to take this opportunity yes who would like to take this opportunity what are your strengths okay raman come on yes raman raman i think there is some uh, technical issue so raman we are not able to hear raman yes come on others now you came to know why why it's difficult to answer uh, in any interview yes what are your strength because if in such a uh, this is uh, see Uh, i am not going to mark you or i am not going to judge you but we are afraid to tell about our strengths i don't know why because it is good thing na ki mere bare mein main bol raha hu mere strengths ke bare mein bol raha hu come on but we are afraid some kind of fear we have ki main strength apne strength wo batao kaise because it shows that you have doubt some kind of doubt we just just tell ki sir i have this strength in me come on please unmute and speak come on overcome your fear overcome your doubts come on speak about your strengths who will do that i 
and believe me it is also a important question yes pranav pranav students are raising hand but we are not able to hear them yes pranav okay i hope uh, being a bca student you know how to use technology because you are raising hand but you are not answering come on strengths what strengths you have let me see let me see who all are present yes sadia then we have uh yes amol dikshit is there yes bhageshri pranav raman rishikesh and then rushda sadia sapna sayed saista srushti sonal sumit suryash tejaswini vinay vinit we have so many students and i am just asking you a simple question what are your strengths it's a simple question believe me and this will be, yes learning yes. meeting only one quality to yash can only one quality just uh, will make you a professional will show you that you are a good candidate for this company it you you must have yes hard working nature hard working yes so you have learning ability and hard working nature yes yash good so suyesh know the answer he has learning ability and he is very hard working okay good suyesh come on others what are your strengths you can write as many as strengths you can but you need to tell about your two strengths come on unmute and speak come on keep trying new things keep trying new things so you keep trying new things yes good suyash come on others yes come on what are your strengths only one candidate knows this uh, he strengths others see uh, uh you are writing it in a chat box i re uh, read those uh, strength also but this is not a question to be uh, answered in a question paper you need to tell about your strength it has to be a interactive part they will not ask you in a chat box what are your strength they will ask you what are your strength and you need to express yourself like suppose suppose i wrote in a chat box i am confident huh? i am i wrote in a chat box okay and interviewer told me amol no uh, please switch on your camera and tell us that you are uh, you are call uh, your strength okay now i am in front of camera okay i wrote in a chat box that i am confident person but in front of camera i am like this and i am telling so i am confident person will it help no to be confident i need to speak very uh, in a good professional tone okay i need to express myself so i will tell yes sir i am very confident person okay so that will make me confident 
so writing is a different part my friends you need to speak up come on what are your strengths come on we are running out of time we are running out of time please take initiative what are your strengths yes yes adia sir i am good at time management and i never give up and i have good concentration level and the grasp i can grasp things quickly and i am good observant i'm very confident and anyone can trust me okay good so shadia is confident she is very good observant yes uh, there was some disturbance so shadia the uh, your voice was not clear but i could hear the confidence in your voice yes good now one more candidate what are your strengths and uh, uh, how many of you know that there, there is a new trend of video interviews how many of you know this term video interview and video resume how many of know how many of you know this term video interview and video resume yes nowadays see believe me uh, after after uh, covid most of the companies instead of calling the candidate to the company or directly going to the campus what they do they conduct video interviews video interviews means they will send you a link uh, like a, what we are doing now okay and they will ask you same question which i am asking you but in that video interview you need to be uh, in a proper place there uh, uh, you need to be audible you need to be in a professional look to crack that interview okay and what does the video resume means video resume means telling about yourself it is a video about you for one to uh, for one or two minutes or between one or two minutes okay so in that video resume you tell about yourself my name is my name is amol bhalchand dikshit i am from mumbai i did my mba in healthcare services after completing my graduation in pharmacy i am very passionate and confident person i have good interpersonal skills communication skill i have, i do have good intrapersonal skill because i know myself very well and i can communicate with others i did diploma in clinical research in pharmacology management and in psychology i did certifications in dietetics and counseling i am even a certified life coach and wellness coach till date i have trained almost 5000 plus participants i like uh, i do get good feedbacks from my all my participants and i enjoy training training people i travel a lot i have traveled all over india for my training purpose my aim in or uh, my career objective is to train people on international platform okay so this is all about me or believe me they will look for your body language they will look how you express yourself your facial expression now you know what does video resume means okay so try to make your video resume okay yes now one more candidate to answer this what are your strengths one more we need one more only one more yes only one more come on take initiative come on students you said that we can be a king so i am asking you how come on what strengths you have come on 
Yes, we are. Two years, yes. Two years. Uh, uh, can you tell all the all your all your strength in one one uh, in a one shot? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Learning new things, sir. Communication skills. Okay. So that means patience. Patience. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Suryesh told about his skills. Three skills now. Three strengths. Strengths. Strengths in him. Yes. Others, come on. So that we can move to the next column. That is weakness and important it is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Students, you need to work on this communication part. Okay. You need to overcome your doubts and fear. Okay. Okay. So we will move ahead. Because I was waiting for so long and... Uh, it is not good to wait for so long. I just ask you a simple question. What are your strengths? And you are taking so much time. And believe me, in any interview, you need to answer a question within six seconds. Within six seconds. Do you know this rule? Within six seconds, you need to answer. You cannot take so much time. Okay? Yes. Okay, so now strength and weaknesses. Now, what does weaknesses means? A scope for improvement. Weaknesses means scope for improvement. Yes, Sumit. Sumit, yes. Okay. Okay. The scope for improvement. Okay. So. Weaknesses means what scope, uh, what, uh, uh, in which area you need improvement. Okay. Why this question is important and there is a, a question in a interview. It, that question is, what is your weakness? They need to know only one, your own, only one weakness. So what is your weakness? Yes. I was facing an interview. And uh, it was in MNC. And my, the, the interviewer was a vice president of the company. And he was a foreigner from Africa. So he took my interview. And believe me, uh, I gave my interview all the technical questions, all about myself. I was very good in answering the question. I even, he, he even appreciated me. He told me, Amol, you are a very good candidate. And I, I have never seen a good candidate like you. Okay, so I thought now job is mine. So now he told me, Amul, last two questions for you and uh, I will give you offer letter. Okay, so the second last question was, what are your strengths? And I was good in that. So I told him, so I'm a very passionate and confident person. I'm very punctual. I do, I do complete my projects or whatever work assigned to me in a timely manner. So he was very impressed. And he told me, yes, Amol, that's good. So now the last question for you is, what is your weakness? Okay. What is your weakness? So I was stuck because we no one ever told us that this this will be a question in any uh, in an interview. So I was not prepared with it, and on the spot it was difficult to think about weaknesses. Okay. So I was thinking, so the rule was six seconds and uh, the time passed. So he told me, Amol, you are taking a lot of time. But since you are a very good candidate, I will give you some more time. So what he did, he went out for two minutes and I was sitting there and I was thinking about what is my weakness, what is my weakness. Okay. And then he came back again. 
so he again asked me amol what is your weakness so i was still blank like all of you are okay same way now how you are sitting here so i was blank at that moment okay so i was sitting and uh, uh, i could not say anything so he told me sorry amol you are very good candidate but but the sentence he told me i still remember that sentence that a person who doesn't know his weakness his or her weakness may not be successful in life yes the person who doesn't know his or her weakness may not be successful in life so that were his words and after the interview when i was got rejected i came home i did all the swot analysis of myself and believe me the next interview i cracked in a, a most uh, the number one company in the same field in the field of clinical research and the pay, the uh, the package which i got in that uh, company was much more than the package which which i would have got in this company okay so i worked on my weaknesses and every person has that weakness the the way to answer this question is what are your weaknesses and how you are trying to overcome them okay like suppose like suppose uh, i have I, i have a stage fear so i told my interviewer sir i have a stage fear so the next next part will be how am i trying to overcome it what i am what i am doing to overcome my stage fear and if you are not doing anything and you only know your weakness then it is of no point okay you need to work on your weaknesses every person in this world has some or other weakness but the only successful people they are working on their weaknesses so always try to overcome your weaknesses they are scope for improvement for you okay yes so now write down what weaknesses you have i will not ask you this question or i will not ask you to tell about your weaknesses but i want you to do introspection you need to write in a book what weaknesses i have and what am i doing to overcome those weaknesses it is the most important thing to do uh, jack ma once said instead of knowing what to do you should know what not to do and what not to do is a weakness okay but we are doing the same thing we are uh, we are sitting blank we are just listening we are not answering these are your weaknesses but you are doing the same thing and we want success in our life and success like suppose i am waiting for your answer i am calling out your names but interviewer will not he will just wait for your answer and then he will say okay we will call you and he will or she will never call you again so that's why when i was asked to uh, keep the session uh, there was discussion which topic to uh, take for the session because we had only 2 hours so i told ma'am bageshi ma'am ma'am we will keep the session on swot analysis because this uh, uh, swot analysis topic will help them to answer most of the question of uh, interview yes okay so write down your weakness and what you are doing to overcome it yes what is your weakness also please note down all the questions which i discussed in this session what is your weakness is also important question so write down what is your weakness and there is no need to tell me now but definitely you need to answer this to a to a interviewer 
because interviewer will ask you this question and he or she is expecting that answer okay so write down what is your weakness yes and what you are doing to overcome it any weakness any weakness that is pulling you back is your weakness anything that is pulling you back any anything that is not allowing you to go uh, go forward in your career or in your life anything that is your weakness and believe me you can overcome any weakness in your life like I, now i am speaking in front of you but when i was in uh, just uh, i just passed my ssc and i was about to go to college believe me my i i was not able to speak properly so that was a major weakness i had but now i am in front of you and i do conduct uh, motivational speeches i do conduct sessions for professionals also so i overcome it but it took lot of efforts so same way please work on your weaknesses yes okay now after weaknesses we have opportunities and threats so your opportunities are dependent on your strengths okay see uh, i did my mba but uh, i am here not because i am mba i am here because i can present i am here because i do have communication skill i am here because i have good interpersonal skills yes yes sorry okay yes so so my strengths tell me about the opportunities which i have your opportunities are dependent on your strengths and the threats in your career or in your life are dependent on your weaknesses like like uh if someone is not getting promotion or if someone is not getting selected in in an interview it is not because he is not a good candidate it is because he is not able to express himself or herself in front of the interviewer so you need to overcome that weakness my friend and the less weaknesses you have the less threat you will face in your life okay i hope everyone got this yes yes threats means what hurdles or barriers in your career or in your life and opportunities means what opportunities means the way different ways you can opt for it is all dependent on your strengths i hope everyone got this yes please raise your hand yes yeah okay suryesh good others come on i hope you understood the topic swot analysis why it is important yes okay okay now now a question for you uh we talked about four things strength weaknesses opportunities and threats now tell me tell me which which things you can control of out of four out of this four which things you can control strength weakness opportunities or threats yes come on which things are under your control yes sir weakness ha huh? sir weakness 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 yes okay so weakness is under your control because you can work on your weaknesses yes what else only weaknesses only weaknesses only weaknesses you can control
taking up opportunities yes aria but aria opportunities and threats are not in your control yes raman right answer your strength and weaknesses are your are in your control you can work on them but you cannot work on your opportunities and threats your opportunities and threats are dependent on your strength and weaknesses so instead of uh, instead of working on your opportunities and threats work on your strength and weaknesses like like suppose uh, we we all of all of us faced a lockdown period it was uh, it was like a very uh, very what there is no word to say many people face such, so much crisis in their life but many many people because of their strength they overcome that period also okay so if you have strength you can work or you can overcome the bad situations in your life that's why there is a important question any crisis you faced in your life and how you managed it though you can only manage your difficult situation with your strengths so develop your strengths and weakness then you will have lot of opportunities and less of threats threats like there are different threats you, we can say recession okay uh, other 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 threats that are less job opportunities uh, in uh, core department so these are some kind of threats okay opportunities are like there is boom in uh, in technology there is boom in it so these are uh, these are opportunities for all of you but to grab this opportunity you should have some strength in you skills in you yes so yes yes so yes okay so rightly said by raman work on your strength and weaknesses then you can you will do you can also do impossible things yes so th that was the topic for our webinar a uh, swot analysis and i hope everyone did their swot analysis yes any question any question yes any question you can ask me any question if you have about whatever we discussed today come on come on yes any question yes come on zabi uh, zabi yes no others sir how to give proper interview yes so yes uh, how to give proper interview so yes i i think you know the answer for this question how to give proper interview yes how to give a proper interview believe me for any interview there is a rule that rule is called a b c d okay to crack any interview work on this a b c d there is a beautiful video on interview uh, shall i show that video to you yes Yes shall i show that video to you Yes suyash You will know you will come to know 
what does interview mean yes okay okay so i'm showing you that video okay yes give me a moment I'm sharing my screen with you. Okay. It's a beautiful interview. And you will come to know how one can give an interview. Okay. So I'm showing you that video. Just have a look. I hope you can see my screen. curated program with cutting-edge skills expert techniques and game-changing insights that will help you reach your summit are you a good storyteller do you have a story to tell when people meet you they want to know your story and you must tell a really good one so are you a good storyteller let's find out the real action is happening here in the interview room Your appearance and body language reveal a lot more about you than you want to let out. The devil is in the detail. This is your I am interview and you must impress these guys. The friend makes you comfortable and tries to know you better the foe stresses you out with tough questions the trickster lures you into a trap and then throws a dusra let's see how akash goes about it uh, may i come in please let's see how the interviewers see akash a lazy stubble and unruly hair makes you look dull and flippant ill fitting and unironed clothes make you look shabby and careless Good morning sir. Rookie mistake. Always wait for the interviewer to initiate the handshake. A loose and feeble handshake indicates lack of confidence. Also, don't look down at your own hand. Look at the person whose hand you are shaking. Please be seated. Slouching makes you look underconfident. All these negative impressions and they haven't even asked you the first question yet so akash tell us a bit more about yourself uh my name is akash i live in mumbai and my family consists of me my mother my father and my brother uh, and no now that's a boring story the key to telling your story well is to prepare short crisp interesting responses to such typical interview questions well in advance questions such as where do you see yourself 5 years from now what are your strengths and weaknesses who is your role model and why why do you want to do an mba you're an electrical engineer i don't think you can cope up with the finance subjects in your first year um i'll work really hard sir i'm good with maths i'm really interested in stock markets and i know i can manage sir Notice how Akash's body language and his shrill tone gave his nervousness away. Hmm. You really have good grades in mechanics and automotive design. Thank you, ma'am. I'm really passionate about automobiles. Then you should follow your passion and go for some technical course. Why MBA? 
एक्चुअली मैम मैनेजमेंट डिग्री इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो आई थिंक एक्चुअली Oh dear walked right into that one didn't he Akash panicked and it showed Well okay then thank you you may leave now Um uh, thank you mm, And that's how you don't get an IM seat even if you've scored a 99 percentile But let's see how this could have been done ideally Samia come in Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. So, Akash, tell us a bit more about yourself. My name is Akash, and I aspire to become a successful sales and marketing professional. You must have heard about our college fest called Technotron. Not really. What is it? Ma'am, it is the most prestigious robotics lab in India, and I was the general secretary of the fest in the final year. I led the team which secured the highest sponsorships ever in the history of the festival. You are an electrical engineer. I don't think you can cope up with the finance subjects in your first year. Sir as engineers, we do need to put in extra efforts for the finance subjects. I'm already taking an online course for cost accounting. On the weekends, my friends from the commerce stream help me out with my doubts. And it helps that we engineers are good with numbers. You really have some good grades in mechanics and automotive design. Thank you ma'am. I'm really passionate about automobiles. Then you should follow your passion and go for some technical course. Why am I? Actually ma'am, a management degree is also important. Apart from great job prospects, it gives me a solid foundation to achieve my long-term objective of becoming a tech entrepreneur like my idols, Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. Indeed. Thanks a lot Akash. You may leave now. So this guy's getting that IMC, don't you think? To tell your story really well, always remember the A B C D of being a good storyteller. A appearance make sure you're always well groomed and sharply dressed b body language always be calm and ensure your body language is not giving out negative signals c content make sure you've done your homework and you're well prepared d delivery your tone and pitch is the key are you ready Yes. So I hope uh, Suyesh. Yes, Suyesh. I hope you got the answer. Yes. Yes, Suyesh. I hope everyone got the answer. Yes. So always work on A B C D to crack any interview. A means write it down. A means your appearance. You should be in a professional look. You should be uh, in a professional attire. Your facial, uh, like suppose uh, you uh, for boys, you need to have a clean shape. Okay. Yes. Second is your body language, like how you sit, how you stand. Yes. How you express yourself. You like uh, your smiling face. it shows that you are very comfortable you are very confident okay yes c is content now i told you to write in a book about your strength about your weaknesses that means you are well prepared with your content and if you are well prepared you can uh, deliver it properly deliver means expressing okay so always work on a b c d to crack any interview Yes then any question now yes any question any other question come on yes any other question yes any other question come on or we will stop for the day Yes. No, sir. All cleared. Yes. Others. Yes. Okay. Good. So uh, it's a uh, thank you time from me, and uh, 
we had a good session i hope everyone understood what uh, why this session is all about yes okay yes so thank you thank you yes any any feedback any feedback for me any feedback for me yes any feedback now you can speak yes any feedback for me or for this session come on yes come on students yes shreya thank you shreya come on others any feedback you can unmute and speak yes sayyad thank you sayyad you can all, all also tell me a scope for improvement yes yes it is most important one should know our, about ourselves ek ek hindi mein bola jata hai na hum hai to duniya hai theek hai okay yes yes vinit thank you vinit yes okay others come on you can unmute and speak if you want to yes raman yes uh, uh raman it's uh if you get if you make your career uh, or if you uh, in your future or in your career if you get uh, in a good company or if you become a good businessman then this time is will be a really a valuable time it's up to you now to make this time valuable yes yes rishikesh thank you rishikesh yes yes so no so please please work on a b c d and then you can crack any interview please all always keep improving yourself wo ek bola jata hai na hamara kal hamare aaj se behtar hona chahiye aur aaj hamara aaj hamare kal se behtar hona chahiye so always work on your improvement there is a important word in japanese language or uh, there is word what you say that word is kaizen I hope you have heard about this word, Kaizen. Yes, Sadia, thank you. Yes. So Kaizen means continuous improvement. Kaizen means what? Continuous improvement. Continuously improve yourself. Learn new skills. Learn new things from your teacher, from your friends, from your relatives, anyone. Okay. Yes. So thank you all. thank you thank you all yes and all the best for your future thank you sir thank you thank you thank you Yes thank you Oh okay ma'am up to you now it's over to you ma'am